Let's now take a look back at some of the more memorable matchups between these two teams, starting with 2012. Yeah, this was a classic right here. Number 17, Stanford versus number 7, Notre Dame. There, I should a field goal with 20 seconds left to tie the game and send it into overtime. Stanford then drove the ball all the way down to the Irish four-yard line. But guess what? The Irish stopped them three consecutive times to make it fourth and goal from the one and well make it four consecutive. Stephon Taylor was called short of the goal line in a very controversial call to some. <laughs> Irish would go on to win the game 20 to 13 right there. Look Huge at all those moment fans. in the rain. <laughs> They're so excited. <laughs> now on to 2014. Well, number nine Notre Dame and number 14th ranked Stanford were tied at seven going into the second half. What was a very cold and rainy game that you can see there? Stanford actually scored a touchdown with three minutes left in the game to go up 14 to 10. Everett Golson and the Irish capped off a two minute it drive hitting Ben Cowick in the end zone for a 23 yard touchdown to win the game. Now let's go to 2018. The number eight ranked Irish took on number seven ranked Stanford and South Bend. So the Cardinal coming in a little ahead of the Irish in the polls. Well, Notre Dame took the lead at the end of the first half with a Chase Claypool touchdown. Fourth quarter, Irish up 24 to 17. Ian Book goes to Miles Boykin to extend the lead to 14. And then, well, first play on the very next possession for Stanford. Tavion Coney picked off Costello deep into Cardinal territory. And then first play for the Irish after that book hits Elise Mack for a 35-yard touchdown. So in this big matchup between two highly ranked teams, the Irish won that 38-17. to Yeah, I wonder how Claypool's doing now, right? <laughs> now in 2022, Marcus Freeman's first game against Stanford. Joshua Cardi kicked three field goals for Stanford to lead them to a 16-14 victory over the Irish. 